Is Attack on Titan glorifying fascism? Okay. Polygon's not a hot garbage take on what is actually is happening in the story. So, first of all, there's obviously clearly anime spoilers here, latest like episode, but otherwise, it won't be many manga spoilers. I will warn when we get into the manga, but the general take here, the debunking, you can get before we go into the manga thing, because it's so easy to debunk. So it's to debunk, it's completely reversed what they are saying, right? So, first of all, for anyone that's like, oh, this thing is all right, I have Jewish family members on my father's side, okay? So, that is that, is that what it is. I have my grandfather used to be even a historian professor and teacher and so on in history, history. So I am quite worse. I'm history buff myself. I'm quite worse in World War Two, World War One, and so on. And yeah, you know, and on that side we. So this is the right anime, yeah. So I'm like I'm personally affected by this, but like, if someone should be offended, it should be me, right? In in to argue, to argue, but yeah. And obviously I speak German and so on as well. So it's like yeah, I probably. Should be me be offended, but this is just so stupid. Okay, so Polygon generally is claiming now then from the anime reveal here of Tekken Titan that oh yeah, it's like glorifying you know oh fascism and you know the World War Two evil people and so on because uh, basically the aliens then the people we are following are in ghettos right and they are cities they are like you know slaves or so on basically like second bits in the sense to the Marlies and the Marlies are obviously you know Germany in during World War II, and it's very, very obvious. But, the very, very obvious thing is that they are the bad guys. Okay? They are the bad guys, Polygon. The, 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 the Marleys are the bad guys in this storyline. It's just so obvious. That's the biggest thing. You can, please watch the whole video, but you can basically stop watching the video now, right? It's just, it's just so stupid. I mean, it's just, just because you're having a storyline that is you know oh it's like some kind of world war ii similarities and it's very very obvious like it's clearly that the main characters the aliens are jewish like they are supposed to be the jews and everyone hates them right and later on in the story it's a very minor spoiler there are also other people that are not marley's like but other you know countries around them and they're also like you know oh yeah the, the evil aliens so they all hate the alien, they all hate them right so they are very very clearly the jews of our world, right? And the, basically the map is like a reverse map of our map, and so on, something like that. It's not really revealed yet, but it's the theory. So it's basically, it's like our world, uh, you know, human Earth, right? Yeah. But it's just so obvious. The protagonist of the storyline is the aliens. We are following Grisha there as a kid. His sister dies. So again, anime, anime open here. So I was doing anime spoilers, so yeah. So his sister gets killed, right? by the evil Marlies and so on, he hates them and he joins kind of like the rebellion, he joins um, the alien restoration team you see first here that his sister is to have the bandage there, right, clearly to kind of show that yeah, they are um, you know, not humans to speak, they are lower citizens, his mother is like oh you know, you have to be careful and so on then she gets killed and he gets angry, right, he joins the restoration, like the rebel force and these people here are clearly shown to be, you know, be hiding underground, planning to revolt against the uh, Marleys, and they are used very, very obviously, basically, very obviously, they're supposed to be the Free France moment. Yeah, they're supposed to be the resistance forces, right, during World War II. That is what the Grisha and his gang are supposed to be, right? They're supposed to be the, the people that was fighting, were fighting the evil end people. Yeah, <laughs> that's obvious. It's so obvious. And still Polygon sitting and saying like, oh, you know, this anime and the manga, yeah, they're, they're really like, they're glorifying and they're like, you know, it's telling us that, you know, fascism and fascist people so are correct and so on. It's like, no, no, they aren't. But no, they're doing the absolute opposite. We are following them. We're seeing how they get killed, how they get like, you know, you know, be a bad, you know, more bad, bad wor worse than being killed. Horrible stuff. They forced to be titans. Killing each other, and so on. And also, yeah, you know, this is a big spoiler for the manga, but when we see more of the Marley in the manga, it's just a lot of general stuff like they're throwing garbage at them, and like they're, like, uh, and people are like, throwing out the water, kind of the garbage from the windows, they, they aim at the aliens, and they're like, oh yeah, dirty aliens, and so on, right? So it's like, that thing is happening in the manga, yeah. But it's absolutely not telling us as the reader, as the viewer, that. This is the right thing to do. It's the reverse, right? We're, again, we're following the protagonist. It is the people being oppressed. 
and they are trying to fight that. So it's like, yeah, yeah. So that's basically it, right? That's the best. That's the basic story. Yeah, that's the basic story. And it's just so stupid, and it's just so ridiculous. I, I can't believe a random one could write this crap, honestly, because it's again, it's just so incredibly obvious that the Marlets are evil. They are evil, right? It's yeah, it's portraying something that is very close to reality happen in reality. This is, this is basically like magical use, that use that you can transform, yeah. But it's obviously that the use here are the good people. <laughs> so, and they're like trying to rebel because of the evil oppression and so on. And they, they fail, but yeah, <laughs> you know. And later on they will maybe succeed. We don't know that yet. But uh, it's just pretty obvious. But I will go into the article now because there's something that's really, really stupid too. So we show a little bit of the article. And the first thing I say right away is that the article is the dumbest thing ever because they are, um, how do I say, it? they're claiming that the modern manga industry only exists because of what they Titan. <laughs> it is just so stupid. Like, no. Okay, Attack on Titan sells very well, but it doesn't sell as good as One Piece. Okay, One Piece has sells so much for Attack on Titan, and they are ordered, of course, very big stuff like Crunchyroll, Step and Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super, you know, they crash the site and so on. So they're clearly that Attack on Titan, yeah, it obviously makes the money and so on. But claiming here that without Attack on Titan, it wouldn't be any like crunch at all, it wouldn't be any anime industry basically. <laughs> it's so stupid. It is just so incredibly incorrect. The first line here is just absurdly lie. Okay, so I will be a little bit manga spoilers now here because the author here goes into the manga. And uh, the author really misrepresents or has even honestly read the manga, right? Because there's so many issues here that actually aren't correct. So if we go down a little bit and I will show you what we have wrong too. We also doubt wrong too, the whole... Uh, and yeah, so here we come to the spoilers. And here they even say the big three, yeah, One Piece, Naruto and so on. Um, and yes, of course, Take Titan become more fans, but one, yeah, it's just so silly, yeah. So whatever, Take Titan is obviously famous. Uh, here we come. So yeah, so here they say that... They reveal that, you know, the world is, yeah, uh, out there is aliens. Um, yeah. Here, here's a big issue. Here's a very big issue with the, with this article, which also makes it almost a racist article, it's straight up here. So, here's like the aliens journal revealed once that, you know, Emir did this thing, and it actually is said with the, div with the, with the demon or devil or whatever, so this becoming a Titan, that's also untrue then, because the story is, if you're gonna believe the Marley storyline, this is actually is explained, so not saying that. And also this is wrong here, because uh, the, here he writes, uh, Ymir died, the fate of all the Titan. That's incorrect, that is a shifters. Where else, and the, the, the author even later says that he will wander around on the island forever, so how could that be true, right? So obviously that is completely incorrect, it's the shifters that died 13 years. So that's completely wrong. And that is, again, then, so I guess going to manga territory now, but that is completely incorrect, obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense with Ymir and so on, uh, and Grisha, so that is completely false. But it um, shows you that the author hasn't read and understood the manga. But what I think is very, very particular here, which is, you know, quite sad, is that the author here is building up the, the Marley truth of the world, the Marley truth, so the, the author it hasn't really understood or read actually the manga or anime because the author here is saying that you know oh this happened with the uh, with this demon or devil or whatever right but the author isn't even mentioned for that matter but still this is the storyline that the Marley gives you and Grisha as I said in the last episode is saying that that is incorrect yeah that is a lie that's like you know the Marleys are lying about that the the aliens didn't kill people they actually like you know invented stuff and they build this great empire and so on. Of course, that also could be correct, okay? We don't actually know what is the true truth of the world, what actually happened two years ago, because we have the Marley storylines, the propaganda machine from the Marleys, and we have kind of like the interpretation from the restoration people. They couldn't even read what they said, so they have their own like take on it. And no one actually, no one at this moment in reading really sure know what the actual truth is, right? But this is, I think, is very important here that they are, how say, it, writing it like this because it's writing it in just a bad faith, right? Or you have a weird faith because they are basically saying that well, the propaganda here is the correct thing. Yeah, <laughs> they are saying basically 
they're just taking it from the absolutely worst source, the evil people, the, the, the antagonist, and taking their truth to the story, which of course is kind of weird. <laughs> it's weird in many aspects, but it's clear that the author here is, tech, is on, on the Marley side. And, you know, I feel so kind of weird fetish here that the author wants it to be true that the Marleys are the good people and so on. And that, yeah, like they are the protagonists because they're like, hmm, the Marley claimed that the Ymir. So it is really weird because obviously the author is like, oh, you know, conspiracies and this is so poor and abusing these people and so on, right? That's what the author is saying here. But then the author does the exact same thing themselves by following this logic that the propaganda from the evil government has to be true. Like, so it's just like a mind bowling thing here that the author is, yeah, just believing at face value what the evil, oppressive, fascist state is saying, right? Especially when the author claims that it's, it's wrong to be a fascist and it still is a fascist. So that kind of comes back in, you know, biting itself there. It's really weird to me, really, really weird how they're claiming this thing. But obviously, what the author is writing here is not necessarily true, then. It can be actually be completely reversed, and we have the other story, right, which is pretty much the opposite. But in my opinion, this is just a, a manga, theory, anime theory, then I would say it's something in between, right? I think that's the point of the whole storyline, that it's somewhere in between where, no, the aliens weren't super evil, but the Marlins weren't innocent either. It's probably something in between where, you know, they had some wars, and they probably had some peace as well, and they beat some stuff and so on, right? And, you know, some truth and so yeah, Like, usually how it is in history, if you don't really know, so... You know, it's like the winner write the history, right? So it's like two different versions of uh, the best case scenario for both of them. Yeah, so the, 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 the real history is probably something in between, right? Uh, and one day we will... I mean, I, I hope one day that they will explain what actually happened. And my guess is that absolutely it's going to be a mix yeah, of two of them, right? That's the whole point of the storyline, too. A lot of the story here in Attack on Titan, right, is that, yes, the Marlins are evil. And I will give this to the author, though. The Marlins are evil, like very, very evil. But we do see it from the, the oppressed, like, enslaved Eldians in the Marley Empire. And some of them are like, well, we have to be, you know, helping them or so on. And we see some Marleys that are a little more like, they don't really, they hate them, but they don't hate them. So, yeah, they have a little, like, gray zone, they're, like, humanized. So I will give that to the author, though. Sure, some of the Marleys are humanized. Uh, but also, if you look at, like, World War War and other history, right? Yes, a lot of people in, like, World War II and World War I so were evil. But also some of them were just normal soldiers. Everyone wasn't like, you know, pure evil. Yeah, some of them were actually nice people, right? Or forced into like being drafted into the war. Most wars, people being drafted, right? Which is then that the army, the government take, forced you into the army. Because you, you're here and you have to fight for us. Which is the most common thing, right? So, uh, yes, the manga does humanize them a little bit. That is true. And and, and that's the only thing I can give daughter. Because that... that you can argue and say that, yeah, that makes them a little, not really glorifying it. Well, it's not glorifying it, but it's like, yeah, it makes them, I suppose, say that maybe a state like that, you know, isn't it's still wrong, of course, but maybe some of the people aren't wrong, or they're forced to their opinions on that. Um, but it's still, though, it's like, why does the author, at face value, take what they're saying? It's all the propaganda. It's like, it's just so ridiculous. But anyway, let's go back into... Um, more of the of the article here because that is, that is obviously true and it's very weird that the author would take that uh, side there. and now i'm gonna do some probably more manga spoilers here, because the author has a lot of issues here how they are explaining what happened in the storyline so the author has clearly hasn't really read I I'm, I'm sure the author probably just read a synapse or something because they're misunderstanding so many stuff happening um uh, this is also uh, okay majority yeah, i guess that's kind of how it happened this is wrong here though, and build the walls over them. That is wrong. That is obviously incorrect because it's not that the cross titans just stand there and then they built the wall like cementing around. I don't know. The cross titans are the wall. Like they are creating the hardening. So this is also clearly that the author doesn't understand Second Titan because they are actually the wall by themselves. It's like their body growing out of their body to create the wall. Uh, but the sentence here sounds like someone, you know, built the wall around them, which is really weird. So that's not what happened. Um, yeah, this is true. So obviously they have started. Yeah, obviously they are uh, supposed to be. Yeah. So this is weird here because obviously the author is um, admitting here right away. I read it earlier, but yeah, like this is clearly that the Eldians are um, the, the innocent. They are, they are, they are the oppressed, and we are following the. Yeah. So yeah, then they betray them and so on. Uh, 
And this is also completely wrong here. This is so this is so stupid here. I, I don't know why the author writes like this. This feels really like this is a person that maybe watched a few episodes or is read the synapse because this is, isn't true at all. This is so inc this is so incorrect here. Like um, so here the author writes that, and this is you know, this is anime, I guess it's not a spoiler for much now then, but like eventually Grisha accomplishes his mission, only to learn that his second wife has been devoured. He went mad with grief and injected Aaron with Titan fluid, which gave him the power of Tega Titan and turn. Protect Titan, yeah, and mindless monster. Like this is completely incorrect. This is so incorrect. This is not what happened at all. Uh, this is really, really stupid. This is so this is honestly pisses me off so much. Because it's so obvious here that Arthur has not read or you know watched the actual anime. Well it, it did, they were like, ooh, yeah, they were focusing for a freaking second. For an F second, because of course this is not true for all. What happened in the storyline is that Grisha has to give Aaron the powers because you can only be a shifter for 13 years. Which the author even said himself earlier, even though they made the wrong word for it. But the author should know that. So it's not that Grisha is mad with grief and has to be like, oh, please kill me, you know, Aaron. No, he has to give the power to Aaron because otherwise he's gonna die. He has to give, yeah, he has to give the power shortly to Aaron before the, the time span runs out. That's the main thing why he does it, because he has to do it. And obviously the Titans entering and so on forced his plan a little faster there, but that's the main that's the that's the one that's the main reason. He has to do it soon. Given the time frame, yeah. The second reason of course is that the author for some reason is ignoring what happened here. Because what's happening is that Grisha went and of course ate Frida got the power of the founding titan right he did his mission yeah he did that thing i mean the author mentions that but it's kind of weird. like yeah i mean that's not to mention it but i mean the point isn't that he's you know griefing and mad and so on no no he had to do it because of the time frame and after getting those powers he could now then give the powers to aaron right but he had to do it now that was his plan all along he could never just get the power himself and just keep it at that because he's almost dying from the time frame. So his uh, plan again was always to give the power to Aaron, right? Or at least uh, because of the reason, <laughs> time frame. No, yeah, or as position there. Not really so much about that his wife died. And again, right? This this might be a bad thing for Grisha then, but it's very little bit. Oh my God, my wife is dead. It's much more like you have to take the power, son. You have to continue my plan, my mission, and so on, right? Because of this time frame thing, because of this thing and this thing. So, much more like that. And that you have to run away from because the first wall has fallen and so on, right? Uh, it's all about that. It's all about the other circumstances happening. Not because he's just so sad and like depressed or something. So, it's really weird. Uh, it's very weirdly stated. So, I, I just dislike reading that a lot because it's just like that's not what's happening in the, in the storyline. Um. Yeah, and then so now it's like a really big ma uh, manga spoiler stuff. So then then go in and say that, the, yeah, Aaron after reading the history kind of like. So again, manga spoilers now then guys because no doubt is going into really big manga spoilers. What's gonna happen? I think next episode probably. Yeah. So now it's like really really manga spoilers. So I'm just, I'm just gonna state that, and I won't even I can explain what I say. But but basically, what happens afterward? Is they kind of like kind of revolt the Rodriguez thing and kind of trying to like reestablish the alien nation thing, like improving the technology. And they already, they already have already done that. So the author isn't like really correct here either because they already kind of coop when they killed Rodriguez and so on. So it's more like it's just more more on that. It's kind of more advanced in that strategy. It's not really like the true thing. And the author then completely doesn't mention what's happening. So yeah. No, I'm going to really big manga spoilers. So, yeah, so the video now, if you just wanna, again, right, big manga spoilers now. The other part, obviously, they were debunked. The aliens are the good guys, and they are obviously the oppressed Jews. So obviously, they're good guys. Now manga spoilers. Why the author's wrong? Um, what happens here is that during those the time frame here, and it's like a time skip or so on. They try to rebuild the paradise. They're actually getting help from kind of like Japan in that world. Uh, and they're gonna get help from other people in the malls and so on. And there actually is a lot of other stuff happening during this time frame. The author is just like, oh, it's a four time jump, and then we see all attacking Morley. Completely incorrect. Completely incorrect. Not what happens at all. What happened is the manga, the author is so wrong here. What happened is that it just says, like, currently it's a final arc and the four time time jump and attacking the malls. It is not what is happening in the manga. What happens is that this guy, 
they jump over and we actually get to follow Gabby, okay? The Shane's main character, we get to follow another character who is living in the Marley oppressed world. And that gives us also a lot more insight on how it is to be living in this horrible state of the Marleys. So it's like a lot, it's like a 10 plus chapters actually covering why they are wrong the Marleys. Even more, they already know, yeah. So the author is completely ignoring like a year of manga here that's about what is happening on the Marley side for the aliens being enslaved. But here the author's like, they fight and attack them. Completely incorrect, completely wrong. They skip, they skip over like a year. And season four is basically ignored here in um, this, this article. They're ignoring season four. What's gonna be next season of the anime is ignored here because it's, there's a lot of stuff happening before this attack on the Marley. A lot of stuff happening before that, so completely incorrect. Um, and also they're ignoring the other stuff happening as well. Yeah, completely correct. And then you go into yeah, the opening and so on. And yeah, then, then it has to kind of weird like, yeah, some of the Titans has large noses. I think we obviously know what they're trying to tell them there. But yes, the Eldians are the Titans though, so actually they wouldn't be, I mean, this is weird. But yeah, I think we all know. But also it's like one Titan has a large nose, the other doesn't. So it's not even true. It's like, yes, yeah, some of them have a large nose. Like a few of them, and then it's like, yeah, yeah, strong female protagonist, which is true. Though. I love Sasha, of course, best, best character, best girl, um, who are Shadow Gabby. And then it's like, yeah, yeah, Ishiyama is an evil person, and so on. And, uh, and here, they're wrong again, though. So this is completely wrong, um, just from like the author not having read the manga. And uh, Jaegeris wants to do this thing, and so on. And uh, let's go down a bit here. I think they're some reason zero two appears um i don't know why <laughs> yeah that, that, that is just a weird uh, um some weird thing there but what they're saying later on then uh, is that when you're cutting down here to the article right and they kind of like <sighs> but other thing this is a big spoiler now i, I know i'm in the mega spoiler but what the author is saying right now then is like the Jaggerist and their plan that I showed it, and I, I don't want to talk too much about it, but the Jaggerist, because this is kind of like yes or no, the Jaggerist might know what Zeke and Aaron is planning, but the author is completely ignoring that the Jaggerist, or Aaron at least, his plan isn't to use a rumbling, his plan is to commit mass, um, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of nice flag worship, but mass genocide, yeah. They are, they, he, wanna, he wants to like kill the aliens, right? That is the plan right now, because Zeke's true plan is, um, is the, yeah, the eradication of the race. But obviously, it's also, again, then, obviously a hint to World War II, so very clearly. But that's the actual plans of the Jaggeris, that is Yelena and Zeke and so on. So I don't know what the author is talking about, because the author is setting it, that's the rumbling plan. Yeah, it's going to be the rumbling. The author is like going over the rumbling and so on, right? Like, that's going to happen. That, that's the thing. Uh, I'm not fit to hear. The ultimate goal, uh, yeah, the ultimate goal is the, is the rumbling and take the blood of revenge against the world and so on. That's incorrect. That's what we're trying to do. They're trying to use, eradicate the race. That's what they're trying to do. At least the, the leaders of them. From the same town, though, as I think it's pretty obvious, and as um, uh, Armin said that's the last chapter, it's like Aaron is probably lying. Why would Aaron do that? Like, he doesn't hate him because he's probably lying about the eradication plan. He's probably doing something else, right? Um, so it's uh, it's really strange take on that too. Like it, it really feels that the author is honestly, and I say it again to make a point, well, but they hasn't read the manga because that's not ha what's happening at all. The, the author is like completely ignoring what Zeke's plan is. Yeah, Zeke is a very very important here for the whole Jagger is planting, and nothing here is mentioned about Zeke's actual plan or Aaron and Zeke's plan. Then, which for this moment right now might not be true for Aaron's side, but of course it's like that is the, the plan they're having right now, the Agorist, or at least the lead of the Agorist, is not what they're claiming here in Nautica. It's like actually completely different from what they're claiming. So they haven't read the story, or they are completely ignoring like half the chapters. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so there's a massive difference here. Yeah, massive difference. Not happening at all in storyline. And also, they're not mentioning here, so again, spoilers, but they're, 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 they're fighting them now. They're, they're, based, they're not really mentioning here how the Marlis now are coming with the Zeppeliners 
and attacking the aliens and trying to kill them. So they kind of, kind of they're not really mentioning how that war is working out right now and how like the Seek and Levi fight. And yeah, it's really weird here because they kind of just they kind of just jump over. They're really re representing the storyline in a you know false way, right, as much as possible. Because so instead of saying that. We are following Gabby and Falco and so on for a year of manga, 10, 12 chapters, yeah, like oh, basically a year, season four, basically, right? Massive storyline with them. They're skipping over that. That never happened, apparently. And all of that storyline just builds up how evil the Marley are. Again, evil state of Marley, evil fascist people, yeah, building up that use of the good people. And they're ignoring that. And after that, they're saying that the elders are attacking them, which is kind of true. Uh, they, can, they, they do that, but after that, this is a very short skirmish, and then it's over, right? And then they go back to paradise. And but here it sounds like they are attacking them, and then they are summoning, trying to summon the you know the rumbling effect, like which is not true at all. They're going back, um, and then the Marlies attack them, right? But here it sounds like the Marlies are just sitting there being innocent or something. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know why the author is trying to make the Marlies look innocent too or something or. Like, why it's like the Marley never attacked Paradise? Something. It's weird. It's really weird. It's, if you read this article, if you haven't read the manga, it might sound like, you know, the Marley's are just sitting there, Ellie come attacks them, and then they keep attacking them, and then someone tells them, yeah, not what's happening. Not what's happening at all. They actually go back there, and then they attack them, and then it's about, like, more on Gabby and Falco, and it's about, like, Seek and his plan, and Aaron and Seek's plan, and Yelena and Aaron, and so on. It's a lot, a lot of stuff happening. So, they're ignoring, I don't know, they're ignoring like 20 chapters. <laughs> yeah, they take like one chapter of like chapter 100, skipping over like 87 to 99, and then they're like, this happened in 100, and then it's like 112. <laughs> yeah, skipping over 12 chapters. It is so, it's just a dishonest article. Absurdly not what is happening. But yes, the article is right though, that it's very, like the, the parallels between this and uh, World War II is ob extremely obvious. Uh, but, of course, just having parallels to World War II doesn't mean that you're supporting what the Germans did. Like, no. And also, again, the first good point here is that the storyline, right, is that they are the good people, right? They are the good people. The, the editors are the good people. And yes, again, the author skips over the whole Gabby Falco part, which is a year, I think it's like 10 chapters, 10 chapters basically a year then of Attack on Titan that is just about how it is to live as an alien enslaved by the Marlies. But the article seems to have like ignored that whole chapter. In my opinion, it's the worst part of the Attack on Titan because it's really badly written. I think, I think it's the, the, one of the weakest parts. So a lot of people are not a fan of it. They chase, they chase the protagonist and it gets kind of like uh, iffy. I think there are some really brilliant parts in it, but it, it kind of goes back and forth. So. But, but I'm saying that, and I'm not saying, saying, oh yeah, manga's bad. My point here is that if the author has, hasn't actually read the manga, which I don't think it, but I don't think it has because it's just a bad written, so incorrect, or he's trying to lie about it. But I think in that, well, I guess it would be that a lot of people, when they write the synapse, you go to like, you know, Reddit or Wikipedia and so on, and you read the synapse of the, all the arcs, right? A lot of people don't want to talk too much about next season, so to speak. This is the fourth anime or next the arc there about Gabby. Uh, and I am honestly one of them, but yeah, so I think a lot of people kind of summarize that part very briefly because it's kind of like, yeah, we're following Gabby and it's, it's a bad being an alien at the end. I think a lot of people kind of say that thing, honestly. Um, um, I'm, I'm not that summarizing it, but I would admit that if you would ask me about it, I'd be like, yeah, it's about kind of how, it, how it's bad being an alien and so on. It's, they kind of use them as weapons and so on, yeah. Like, th that, that's kind of like, I think, a lot of synapses. is. So the author, to my guess, they probably read the synapses, right, of the main arcs, and then they got to the arc, arc of Gabby, of the alien enslavement arc, and they were like, hmm, it's only one word here. Gabby is uh, trying to become a warrior, and it's interesting, kind of, because they're, like, showing how this would be an alien, and it's like, bah, whatever, yeah. And they kind of, they probably, they probably didn't get so much information. That would be my guess, honestly. They probably didn't get so much info from reading someone's like summary of that art because the art, the summaries those are usually shorter. So that that could be my guess. This is sort of like a very meta knowledge that that art isn't very popular. Um, I mean, some people like it. I don't think it's the worst thing ever. I'm not saying it's the worst thing ever in but I'm not saying it's the worst story ever in the history of mankind. I'm just saying that like it's pretty weird uh, how they change protagonist and um, and she's kind of yeah. It's, it's kind of a weird storyline. I, I really like the Rainer part. That was very interesting. 
Uh, the Steak and Rain part are very interesting in that part though. Um, so it kind of like it has, it has some strength, has some weaknesses, but it, but it definitely is like a little weird part. But the author probably haven't read it, right? So this, and then it's probably summarized like, yeah, we're following the bad guy for a bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, throw it away. That's probably what happened, honestly. Uh, but I'll say one thing too though, which is kind of weird actually, because if the author, the biggest point author you can make here, that is why the anime and manga is evil, is because it's humanizing them, right? Humanizing the moralists. So if anything, that art in particular is actually in the author's favor because that art is the most humanizing art when we're following not just the moral uh, the aliens, but also some of the moralists that are nice, right? Some of the moralists are like normal nice people. Then there's some of them are really evil too, like his Rainer's mom and so on, yeah, or whatever she is. No, she's like his father. Yeah, but she's, she's an alien, but she's evil. Yeah, whatever, yeah, the whole thing, yeah. So, like, that art is actually the most humanizing art for the bad guys. So that actually would like represent most of the author's point could be found in that art primarily, right? Because it's like, well, it brings forth that some of the evil Germans here actually weren't that evil or they were just forced to be evil and so on. And that is in that art in primarily. And the author skips that art. So it's really stupidly written because that's the most important art to make the point of right, so that is pretty hilarious in my opinion. But anyway, hope you like the video, guys. Subscribe, and put up, and so on, right? And uh, yeah, stay with me. I'm talking more. Like I, I don't want to do just anime mangas on the channel. I'm trying to do work from that, but I do feel this is my channel where I'm gonna speak out against this crazy stuff. And uh, so you know, if you have some other stuff similar to that, so you want me to talk about, so on, yeah, of course, leave a comment below, write to me, and so on. And uh, yeah, this is, but this is just so stupid. I mean, one thing I would say again here, right, is that this thing can be debunked in one sentence. Uh, yes, it's spoiler than if you have watched the current anime and so on, but if you know the current storyline, it's like, yeah, they're obviously your like World War II references, like clearly World War II, like it's World War II clearly, but again, we are following the oppressed people and they are the heroes, the protagonists are the oppressed people. So because of that reason, they are still wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's like they are clearly not the good. They are clearly the bad people. It's the, it's the, it's the Maoris. If the Maori were the good people, yeah, that's that's the thing. Right? If the Maori were the good people, then you could maybe write something to say, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, the evil attack is evil. But it's, it's the reverse of that, and it's so obvious. So you need to say more. Right? Yeah, the Maoris are evil. The Maoris are wrong. We feel sorry for the protagonists that are on the other side, being oppressed. We're not getting. We're not like you know. Whatever. Hope you like the video, guys. Press like button. So, I'll see you guys in my next video.